How's it going guys? Welcome to this basing tutorial. In the past video I told you that I was going to show you how I do my bases, my snow bases, and here it is. So I used grey pumice on this large base. I, sh I chose this kind of base just to have a little bit more area to work with and show how a large base would look with it. And I'm using Mechanical Standard Grey to paint the whole base. Of course you can use any other material that you want. You could use fine sand or coarser sand or any kind of textures paint to make give the texture to the base. That comes becomes a little bit irrelevant in the future if you try to cover the whole base in snow. You don't have to put any kind of a grain. And then I'm going to use Celestial Grey or you can use Administratum Grey as well. I just like this uh, Celestra base color that looks a little bit blue. And I'm going to dry brush the whole base. You can use, of course, any color that you would like uh, beneath the snow. I just like this uh, color, it makes it look kind of urban or like, uh, like in an imperial city. And then I'm going to use this uh, ceramite white. And I'm going to start coloring patches where I want the snow to go. This is important because the previous time I used this uh, snow flock, it got, it got really transparent and it really didn't look good. But I found this tip on, on the internet and I tr uh, decided to apply it on my bases and it really helps a lot to the look of the snow. Just try to apply it as randomly as you can and covering as much surface as, as you would like. It's not really... You can, you can have very little snow or, or just cover the whole base. It's up to you. Next I'm going to use this snow from Basecraft, but you can use the Games Workshop one or the Woodland Scenics one. And I'm mixing it with water and uh, white glue. You can see I choose the oldest and baddest and worst condition brush that I could find because uh, this is really messy and really, uh, uh, really bad for your brushes. And uh, I'm mixing equal parts of water and glue and then adding the snow flock un until the consistency is right. And to explain that, um, it really it really depends on one st what sort of snow do you want. Do you want it like melting or do you want it really, really cold? I think the colder, the more texture it should have and the drier it should be. But you have to balance that out with the maneuverability that you're going to get with your uh, snow clumps. Because if, it got, if it's got too much flock, it's too sticky to work with and if it has too little it's really really watery and doesn't bring any texture to the base so you have to find a middle ground where you have little uh, clumps and where you can see like like snow lumps and texture so I hope that uh, the video that I should be mixing the, the snow help you out a little bit to find the right consistency that is for you. And remember you don't have to use the gray uh, on the bottom, you can use uh, brown, black or any other color that you like. I just wanted to make this, make it like this because um, I wanted to contrast the very dark colors that my Dark Eldar army has, so I decided to go for it, this. And yeah, you just had to, of course I didn't talk about this because I thought it was very obvious, but you have to cover the whole ba the whole area that you painted white with the, with the snow. And if you go over the border a little bit, that's fine. 
it's gonna blend the colors of the base with the color of the snow. Oh, and of course, make sure to apply the snow when everything is really yeah, it's already dry, because snow can uh, suck in pigments from cork, from the even if the, the bristles, if your bristles are uh, carrying some sort of pigment, the the snow will just pick them up like a sponge. And yeah, that's it. Um, to finish it off, I'm uh, applying matte varnish to the whole snow once it's dry. Just to seal it in and to like blend it in a little bit, like make it look a little better. And this is the finished result. This is how my Dark Elder are going to look in this uh, snow base theme. And I'm currently working, trying to find the pieces for make for making a display board. I think that'll be a really fun project to do a whole board with this color scheme. And I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think about this very quick basing tutorial. I hope it helps you out if you were looking to paint snow. And I'll see you on the next video. Please check out my Facebook page if you would like to talk to me. It's in the description below. And I'll see you later.